So in this video, we are going to talk about a very simple topic. Okay, I want you to think what will happen. What will happen if I take the derivative of the first derivative? So let's say I have uh, I have my y as a function of x, and uh, I take the first derivative. So I will get y prime. Okay, what will happen if I get the derivative of my y prime? So, what actually happens there is I will produce y double prime. And if I will, again, take the derivative of my y double prime, then I will get y triple prime. Okay? So, that is the concept of higher derivatives. That is our main topic for this video. Higher derivatives. So, higher derivatives of, or getting... Uh, a higher derivative simply means that you have to get the derivative of the first and then get the derivative of the second, get the derivative of the third in order to uh, solve what is uh, what is uh, required in a, in a problem or what order of derivative is uh, required of you in the problem. Okay, so what are the symbols that we are going to use? So we have here, uh, we have here y and then y prime. The first derivative, y double prime, as the second derivative, y triple prime, as the third derivative, and then it will be like this, okay? Instead of uh, putting four primes, okay, you will uh, just indicate the number, okay? And then, and so on and so forth, okay? Should write y, and whatever is the derivative. So, just let's just put, this, put it as n, okay? And then we can also use, so we have derivative of x with respect to t, okay? Let's say we have x and t as our uh, variable. The second derivative would be uh, the second derivative of x with respect to t, okay? So, notice the position of the numbers, okay? So, the third derivative would look something like this. The fourth derivative would look something like this, okay? And so on and so forth. So let's just uh, put n there as our uh, infinite number, so to say. Okay, so that's uh, the concept of higher derivatives. Just uh, getting the derivative of the previous uh, order derivative. So let's go ahead and answer some uh, examples here. So let's say we have to find the, find the second derivative, okay? So let's uh, have some basic example and uh, let's just find the second derivative. Okay, so let's say we have y is equal to x squared plus x plus 1 squared. Okay, so our first derivative, we will simply apply the general power formula n u raised to n minus 1. So, this would be 2 minus 1, that is 1, I don't need to write. And then derivative of uh, r u, so that would be 2x plus 1. So, that is basically the first derivative. So, if I will get the derivative of this one, I will end up with the second derivative. Okay? And that would be, uh, we will use the product here. So, I have. 2 times x squared plus x plus 1, and then derivative of 2x plus 1, and then plus 2 times 2x plus 1, then derivative of my x squared plus x plus 1. So, I double prime. So, let's simplify. Let's get the derivative of uh, 2x plus 1. So, that would simply be 2. And here, I have 2 times 2x plus 1. Derivative of this one, I have already solved that, is 2x plus 1. Okay? So, if I will um, multiply 4 here, to the inside the quantity, and it will be 4x squared plus 4x plus 4. Here, I have 2 times 2x plus 1, times 2x plus 1, so that would be 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. Okay? Then, 4x squared plus 4x plus 4 distribute uh, 2. 
this will be 8x squared plus 8x plus 2. Okay? So, 4x squared plus 8x squared, that would be 12x squared. 4x plus 8x, again, that is 12x. That would be 12x. And then, 4 plus 2 is 6. So, plus 6. And then, finally, I can factor out 6. So, I have 2x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, this is my second derivative. Okay? So, the reason why I uh, have them all distributed here in this step is because I saw that I can combine like terms because this is in the uh, second degree and I can produce here another second de degree or a uh, quadratic equation. So, I have the potential of adding. So, that's what that's why I did that. And then in your final answer, always remember that you need to factor out. Okay? It needs to be a answer in the uh, simplified form, which is factoring out whatever can be factored out from the expression. Okay? So, let's have example number 2. So, let's say I have y is equal to x times... 2x plus 1 cube. Okay? So, my first derivative there, so I will apply the derivative of a product. So, y prime x. So, derivative of 2x plus 1 cube plus 2x plus 1 cube derivative of x. Okay? So, that is uh, simple enough. So, I have your x times 3 times 2x plus 1 squared and then derivative of my 2x plus 1 is 2. And then 2x plus 1 cubed derivative of x is simply 1. So, I can factor out in my first derivative, to make it simple, I can factor out 2x plus 1 squared. Okay? And what would be left here is simply 6x. And here, what would be left is 2x plus 1. Okay? I don't need to write a quantity because... Uh, the because the operation is positive or addition so let me continue so i have like that okay that is my first derivative so i just copy it here y prime is equal to 2x plus 1 squared times 8x plus 1 so i'll go ahead and get my second derivative again Apply the derivative of a uh, product. So, 2x plus 1 squared times derivative of 8x plus 1 plus 8x plus 1 derivative of 2x plus 1 squared. So, 2x plus 1 squared derivative of 8x plus 1 is 8 plus 8x plus 1. Derivative of 2x plus 1 squared, so we will use the general power formula. 2 minus 1 is 1, and then derivative of uh, 2x is 2. Okay? So, simplify na lang. Okay? This is just a matter of simplifi simplification. So, I have your 4, and then 2x plus 1, then 8x plus 1. So, 2x plus 1 is a common factor. Okay, and also 4 for that matter. So, what I have here is 2 times 2x plus 1. Okay, what would be left? And then 8x plus 1. So, simplify. 4 times 2x plus 1. Then, this will be 4x plus 2 plus 8x plus 1. So, I have 4 times 2x plus 1 times... 12x plus 3. Okay? And this could be uh, the term here. No, You could uh, factor out 3. And if I factor out 3, this will become 12. 12 times 2x plus 1. Uh, and this would become 4x plus 1. So this is now my second derivative. Okay? Let me go ahead and find and highlight our final answer. Okay, and then um, let's go to our third example, our final example. 
So let's say let t be constant. Let t be constant. Okay, find the second derivative. Find y prime from the equation y is equal to the square root of 2x or 1 minus 2x 1 minus 2xt plus t squared. Okay? So, what can be confusing here is t, okay? Because it is a constant and uh, it seems to be a variable, no? But do not be confused. Just imagine that it is uh, a constant, okay? So, we are to find the second derivative, y double prime. So, the first derivative will be applying the general power formula 1 minus 2xt plus t squared then this will be negative 1 half and then derivative of 1 minus 2xt plus t squared okay so 1 half 1 minus 2xt plus t squared raised to negative 1 half now what is the derivative of 1 so that is 0 2 and t 2 and t are constant, remember? And then what is the derivative of x? So that is simply 1. So negative 2t. And then what is the derivative of t squared? So that is a constant. So uh, 0. So the only derivative here is negative 2t. Okay? So we can see that we can cancel out 1 half. Okay? And then we have t over 1 minus 2xt plus t squared so raised to one half so we will now go to our second derivative so our second derivative we will uh, simply apply the derivative of constant over v so uh, that would be negative t okay by the way there's a negative here so that would be negative so the negative of negative t that would be later on be positive and then derivative of our v so the derivative of that is we already answered that no because it's similar to our y here right so we'll simply copy this one one half so actually i don't need to include one half because i know that that would be cancelled later on okay i can simply uh actually copy this one okay so that would be negative t over the square root of 1 minus 2xt plus t squared okay and then over v squared so if i will square this denominator the one half would be removed okay the exponent one half would be removed so 1 minus 2xt plus t squared okay so what happens here so i, I now have uh, positive t here multiplied by negative t so that would be negative t squared and this one, the square root of uh, the square root of one minus two x t plus t squared will go to the denominator, and their exponents would be added. Okay, so the exponent here is one, and this is one half, so that would be raised to three halves. Okay, so let me uh, so that is the one minus two x t plus t squared raised to three halves. Okay. So that would now be the second derivative, okay? So this is this problem is simple enough as long as you realize that you are already deriving, no? What is what was derived in the first derivative, okay? So that's it for our uh, video for higher derivatives.